Annyeong everyone, and this is your oppa Dennis. Alright, <laughs> 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 so uh, my name is Dennis and today we're going to do a food review. So we have received a box of a chocolate night donut coming from Chef Iggy's Guilty Pleasure. So chocolate night is a kind of donut that originated from Kawasan in Cebu. So I've never been to Cebu City, that's why I'm very excited. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Cebu, but um, because of the quarantine and because of the lockdown, unfortunately, I'm not able to do so. So I'm planning to go there most likely to um, experience the look, um, the food, the people, and um, the beaches, definitely. And also, I'm very much excited to do um, water activities in Colossal Falls, where this very donut originated. So, I'm not sure if Chef Iggy is actually from Cebu, um, that's why he has this recipe, or he came to Cebu to visit and love it, but it seems like that it is quite a famous dish. So, according to some of the blogs that I have um, watched and um, I've read online as well, so um, chocolate night is actually kind of um, a triple chocolate donut. So you have um, the chocolate um, filling inside, chocolate donut or bun, and you, it has um, chocolate sprinkling or chocolate on this thing outside. So it's 375 pesos and of which comes in this box. It has a transparent top, so upon receiving it, coming from the grab delivery driver, you can already see uh, what's inside. So from there you'll see how appetizing these looks here. <laughs> and uh, it's quite heavy, approximately one and a half to two kilos, so it feels like that I am buying two dozens of donuts from Krispy Kreme for Jacob. So with the price itself, this is quite cheap. Uh, another thing is that the box is really sleek, it's simple, and it's very minimalistic. So it feels like that upon receiving it uh, from the driver, um, you are like receiving it again. And I guess it's time to open and dig in. So let's see. Alright. Here you can see um, 12 pieces of beautiful donuts. Alright, they look big. Alright, so it's a moment of truth. It's taste time! Here, and let's just get one piece of dough. Let's get this one. So, forgive me, I'll, I'll be using my hands. I don't know if it's supposed to be like finger food. Well, I don't know, but you know, us Filipinos are used to eating by hand, so. So let's use Filipino here. Alright, so wow, it's it looks heavy. Wow, it smells very chocolate. Um I don't know, uh, but it feels like that it's the texture outside is just like um chocolate butternut um uh, from Dunkin' Donuts because of the chocolate I'll say. Mm, it, it has this rich chocolatey aroma, so I'm very much excited. So for us to definitely try this one, it is a famous for its chocolate filling. So we have to break this apart and see the chocolate filling. And there it goes. Look how gooey that is. See, there's a lot of filling. Oh wow, I didn't expect that. Well, I didn't have on my ideas. I expected that because it is so heavy. So definitely, there's something inside that makes it so heavy. 375 pesos, 12 pieces of donut, this is this heavy. I bet this is so much delicious and delight. So the moment of truth is here. Let's see this. different type of chocolate inside my mouth. Oh! That was great! Mm. That rich chocolate flavor is bursting inside my mouth. It's like melting as well. So we have three types of textures that I'm feeling right now uh, and flavors. Definitely the first one is um, uh, the chocolate bursting. The 
doesn't uh, taste like bitter, just like uh, eating cocoa pop powder. It's really nice. It's kind of um, dark chocolate, but on the sweeter side. Also, you have the chocolate bun, uh, not so sweet, but very chocolatey, and the chocolate ganache inside. Wow, that is to die for. Oh. I feel like I can finish all of this on my own. I might try to do a mukbang. <laughs> well, well, definitely Chef E. E. This has lived up to the hype. I would really love to order more boxes of donuts and refer it to my friends. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can um, message him, um, Chef E. E. Um, and guilty pleasures. I hope he will come up soon with his own Instagram page. But definitely, this is a must try. Okay, Sohal and I, here in the metro. Wow, I would really love to go to Cebu and see if this tastes the same. Well, overall, even if it's not, I feel like this is close to the real thing. Well, kudos to you. Cheers! Alright, so that's about it for our food review today. I'm gonna share this over um, to my family. And let's see if they will also like it. Alright, so that's again. This is Dennis. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Thank you.